Hi everyone and welcome back to My Creative Ego. So I'm super happy to do this haul because I actually found some really great Spellbinders items from Tuesday morning. So I'm just gonna go ahead and get started with that. So the first one here is called Adorning Squares. It comes with seven pieces and these are actually the Nestabilities dies. So I actually, like it says, nested all of the dies together and then I got this effect. You could, however, also just cut these out or emboss them or run them through your machine, whatever you want to call it um, but they will come out this way and then you'll have to do a little more cutting on your own the next one is called fun on a string and this one comes with six pieces and this one has like your balloons and the stars and the heart actually looks like it comes together but when it cuts out they're actually two separate pieces and this one also kind of reminds me you could probably do like a lollipop on the other one that has like a straighter string Next one is called um, Labels 40 Decorative Accents and these are also Nestabilities dies and so this is what it looks like. This one is called Contemporary Circles and it comes with two pieces and I'm not quite sure what I would make with this card yet but that will be soon to come I'm sure. Um, next one is called Flowing Floral. I actually had different expectations for this one. I thought it would be a lot thicker based on the picture. Um, it came out like this. It doesn't really have as much embossing as the um, other stencils had or die cuts had. Next one is called Labels 42, which are um, decorative elements. And this, again, is very detailed, very intricate. Um, some of the pieces I had to run through my machine a little more than once. The next one is called All Wrapped Up, and I probably would cut this out twice because it has your main border, but then on the inside, that piece also cuts out. So if you cut them out in two different colored papers, you can pretty much just mix and match the outside and inside. It also comes with a bow and these little confettis. And let's see. There are thousands upon thousands of species of butterflies found worldwide. They go through a process known as metamorphosis, which is a radical change in form and structure. Most species are brightly colored, but the most brilliant are those with iridescent blues and greens caused by submicroscopic structures on their scales. <laughs> So this particular one is called Les Papillons, which I believe is a French word for butterflies, and I probably mispronounced that, but this is a very beautiful set. I actually started off by cutting and embossing everything on gold until I realized it was probably meant to layer, and I did that here, and I think it turned out really beautifully. Um, and then last week I had did a haul that just focused on some of the things that you needed for my tutorial that I did on these bags. So I wanted to continue today by talking about the other things that I picked up at Hobby Lobby because there were a lot of great sales and majority of the things that I picked up had to do with stamps, which I love. So these are actually a mixture of Hobby Lobby and Michael Stamps. So at Hobby Lobby, I picked this up. Really great price, $2.10. The only thing is that all the designs that you see on the clothing don't actually stamp out, but it's a very cute stamp nevertheless. And then I picked up even more stamps and they all had different price ranges, but compared to the original price, I thought they were a bargain. So this is the clear stamps and this one had all the birthday themes and I really like the font on here. It's a really nice size font. And then I picked up all these other stamps and then I also wanted to use this particular one, kind of like a vintage feel. It says, don't treat me any differently than you would the queen. And then they also had this Avenger stamp. And then Michaels also had some clearance on some of their stamps as well. I picked this Flamingo up, and then I also got this To and From stamp, which always comes in handy. And then this little storefront stamp that kind of has a Parisian feel. And this particular stamp I thought had a really um, beautiful saying on it. It says, life isn't about waiting for the storm to pass. It's about learning to dance in the rain. And then from Joann's, I picked up these planner stamps, which are really cute. They have a lot of different fonts and a lot of different um, errands and to-do list type things. But I don't actually know what this L, C, and E stands for on the bottom. So if you want to let me know in the comments down below, I would appreciate it. I don't use my planner as often as I should, um, but I thought maybe this could come in handy later on. So I thank you so much for watching. I hope you all will stay for the long haul and subscribe. And also don't forget to check out the tutorials as well. Thanks again for watching everyone and have a wonderful day.